So in this video, we are going to learn how to find the interior angle, the sum of interior angles and the exterior angle of a regular polygon. So what is a regular polygon? A regular polygon is a closed plane figure which has equal interior angles and equal sides. A typical example is an equilateral triangle and we can also talk about a square. Now in figure A, we have an equilateral triangle. Now this triangle has three sides which are all equal and it has equal interior angles. Now the interior angles are 60 degrees each. So we have 60 degrees here. Here also we have 60 degrees and then 60 degrees. So an equilateral triangle has three sides which are equal and then three equal interior angles. Now to figure B, this is a square. Now a square has four equal sides and four equal interior angles which are 90 degrees each. So we call this an equilateral triangle. And we have this to be a square. Now let's talk about the regular polygon in figure C. Now in figure C, we have a hexagon that is a regular polygon with six sides. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So six sides. This regular polygon has interior angles A, B, C, D, E, and F. So for interior angles, we have A, B, C, D, E, and F. And for the exterior angles, exterior angles, these are the angles on the outside of the polygon. So we have M, N, O, P, Q, and then R. Now notice that each interior angle plus the corresponding exterior angle sum up to 180 degrees. So we have A plus M to be equal to 180 degrees. We have B plus N also to be 180 degrees and that is the same for the other pairs so we have c plus o to be 180 d plus p to be 180 and so on and so forth now talking about a regular polygon a regular polygon with three sides is called a triangle that with four sides is called a quadrilateral a regular polygon with five sides is called a pentagon that with six sides is called a hexagon and so on and so forth now I believe that you can look out for the rest now let's move on and talk about the sum of interior angles of a regular polygon so given a regular polygon with n number of sides the sum of interior angles sum of interior angles of this regular polygon is given by n minus 2 times 180 degrees where n is the number of sides so that is very simple now using the information we have let's solve questions 1 and 2 So for question one, find the sum of interior angles of a regular polygon with six sides. So we know that the sum of interior angles of a regular polygon is given by n minus two times 180 degrees. Now for the sake of available space, I'm not going to write the sum of interior angles of a regular polygon is equal to this. However, when solving a question like this in your examination, you should know that it is very important to write down the sum of interior angles of a regular polygon is equal to n minus 2 times 180 degrees. 
Now we are asked to find the sum of interior angles of a regular polygon with six sides, which means that we are going to substitute six in place of n. So that's going to be six minus two times 180 degrees. Six minus two is four. So we have four times 180 and that is equal to 720 degrees. Therefore, the sum of interior angles of a regular polygon with six sides is equal to 720 degrees. Now let's solve for question two. The sum of interior angles of a regular polygon is 1080 degrees. Find the number of sides of this polygon. Now for this question, we are given the sum of interior angles of the polygon and we are asked to find the number of sides. We know that the sum of interior angles of a regular polygon is equal to n minus 2 times 180 degrees. And the sum of interior angles of this polygon is given in the question. That is 1080. So we have 1080 equals n minus 2 times 180 degrees. Now at this point, we are going to solve to find the value of n. That is the number of sides of the polygon. Now let's multiply 180 across. So we have 1080 equals 180 n minus 360. And then we transpose negative 360 to the left hand side. We have 1080 plus 360 equals 180 n. 1080 plus 360 is 1440 and that is equal to 180n we divide through by 180 and then we have n to be 8 therefore the regular polygon whose sum of interior angles is 1080 has 8 sides now let's move on as we discuss how to find the interior angles of a regular polygon. Now as we move on to find the interior angles of a regular polygon, let's try this question. Example 3. Find the interior angle of a regular polygon with 5 sides. Find the interior angle of a regular polygon with 5 sides. Now in the previous section, we said that the sum of interior angles of a regular polygon is given by n minus 2 times 180 degrees where we have n to be the number of sides of the regular polygon. Now all the interior angles of a regular polygon are equal. In that case, each interior angle is given by n minus 2 times 180 degrees all over n. Now using this information, let's try to solve for example 3. So we are going to find the interior angle, that is the value of each interior angle of a regular polygon with 5 sides. Therefore, the interior angle of a regular polygon is given by n minus 2 times 180 degrees all over n. Now in the question we have n to be 5. So we substitute 5 in place of n. We have 5 minus 2 times 180 degrees all divided by 5. 5 minus 2 is 3. So we have 3 times 180 degrees all divided by 5. And then 3 times 180 divided by 5 is equal to 108 degrees. Therefore, the interior angle of this regular polygon is 108 degrees, meaning that the value of each interior angle is 108 degrees. Now let's solve a more complex example. If the interior angle of a regular polygon is 120 degrees, how many sides does it have? So we know that the interior angle of a regular polygon is given by n minus 2 all times 180 degrees divided by n. Therefore, the interior angle 
of a regular polygon is given by n minus 2 all times 180 degrees divided by n where we have n to be the number of size now we are being told from the question that the interior angle of a regular polygon is 120 degrees therefore we have 120 degrees is equal to n minus 2 times 180 degrees all divided by n now we are asked to find the number of size that is n at this point we can cross multiply so we have 120 over 1 equals n minus 2 times 180 divided by n so when you cross multiply you have 120 times n equals we have n minus 2 times 180 times 1 which is still the same thing now let's simplify so we have 120 n equals we multiply 180 across we have 180 n minus 360 and then we transpose 360 to the left hand side and then 120n to the right hand side so that's going to be 360 equals 180n minus 120n and that gives 60n therefore we divide through by 60 and then we have the value of n to be 6 therefore the number of sides of this polygon is 6. Now let's move on as we discuss the exterior angles of a regular polygon. So how do we find the exterior angles of a regular polygon? Now the sum of exterior angles of a regular polygon is equal to 360 degrees and since all the exterior angles are equal each exterior angle is given by 360 degrees divided by n so the sum of exterior angles of a regular polygon is 360 degrees and since all the exterior angles are equal each exterior angle is given by 360 degrees divided by n and also notice that the exterior angle plus the corresponding interior angle sum up to 180 degrees so if you have the exterior angle you can use this formula to find the interior angle now let's solve example 5 a regular polygon has 12 sides for this polygon find a the exterior angle b the interior angle and then c the sum of interior angles let's solve this question together so for this question the number of sides of this polygon is 12 so we have n equals 12 now let's solve for a the exterior angle we know that the exterior angle of a regular polygon is given by 360 degrees over n so we have 360 divided by n which is 12 12 goes into itself once into 36 three times therefore we have 30 degrees and that is the exterior angle or the value of each exterior angle of this regular polygon now let's solve for b that is where we are going to find the interior angle so for the interior angle we can use two ways or we can use two approaches in solving that you can either use the formula n minus 2 all times 180 degrees divided by n or you can use this formula so basically the exterior angle which is 30 degrees plus the interior angle should be equal to 180 degrees so this is the corresponding interior angle and that is what you are going to find therefore we have the interior angle 
to be 180 minus 30 and that is equal to 150 degrees so we say that the interior angle the interior angle is 150 degrees now let's move on to C we are going to find the sum of interior angles of this polygon now we know that the sum of interior angles the sum of interior angles of a regular polygon is given by n minus 2 all times 180 degrees we have the value of n to be 12 therefore we have 12 minus 2 all times 180 degrees 12 minus 2 is 10 so we have 10 times 180 degrees and that is equal to 1800 degrees therefore the sum of interior angles of this regular polygon is 1800 degrees so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye bye